looks like they're, they're just waiting to get started, and here we go. Top eight. <laughs> Ryan versus Brendan. Uh, looks like Ryan is starting off with the Miracle Wind. If I can see his hand accurate, or is that a Tenzin? I thought I saw a Rosa. No, okay, it's Tenzin. So he's starting off with his Samurai. Brendan will opt for a Mulligan, hoping to get a much better hand than whatever he'd looked at previously. And Brendan is going first here. Turn one Tenzin is very much on the table for Ryan. We are going to start with a Sarah for Brendan's part. Happy to do that. And, of course, Ryan will respond with... Is that that? No, he pitched the Tenzin for... Wow, there's such a glare on that card. I can't see what it is. Was that Cyan? No, it's... Oh, we played Luso. Oh, man. And Luso just put out Hian. Hian's like, hey, mind if I attack you for three damage on turn two? We just two forwards. You won't mind that, will you? God, I'm such a big Tenzin fan. It's hard to imagine throwing that card out for Luso. But it makes sense because in theory, Luso doesn't have play the Tenzin. So he will curve out from the Sarah to the Princess Sarah. I'm assuming he's going to make this maybe win? I don't think he would, unless he makes something on ice just for the lock. But he's he's splashing ice, so he oh, might, yeah, he it's ice, it's ice, yeah, yeah it's ice. It That's what I thought. Uh, we got official names for the decks that are going to be on FF. Uh, so we're currently watching uh, Samurai's versus Miracle Wind and Guardians versus Firewall. Oh, these are the ones that are the same. These happen to be the ones that yeah. I said right. General Leo. I, I'm amazed to see General Leo popping up in these. But it's saying, hey, it's aggressive. You cannot counter this it's with a summon. When I've walked around today, I've seen one off General Leo's a few times. That's crazy. That card's getting some play. But it, it does make a sort of sense. Uh, Brendan, I don't. He doesn't run out much rot. Or what's his face? In total here. Oh, man. And there's Cyan. We're going to go in. Okay. Search. Here we go. Here we go. Grabs a Godetsu. Makes sense. He really uh, could have grabbed a backup too if he wanted to, but I think he's planning just, ah, I'm just going to end this on the next turn. So, fun fact, I can't speak for all of them. A lot of the red decks uh, only have two to three backups. Okay, so they're going really hyper aggro. Yeah, uh, Idolus I, seems to be a favorite backup. Yeah, that makes sense given its effect. Just pull something right back from the break zone, slap it on the field. Guardians is on three. Which is a good damage spike, but man, it, it would really prefer to be on these numbers <laughs> once it's gotten set up a bit more. I mean, he's he's staring down lethal, so he has to do something about this board. If he's got the play, you 100% go in on it. Uh, he can't see Ryan's hand, but we know Ryan doesn't have Amaterasu, so Ryan will be at the mercy. So if you've got the play, you put out Waka, you pitch Orin, play out Yuna, pull back Orin, you're going to get Waka to three counters, put out Titus. Waka can just delete anything on that board. Problem is, what do you kill? Like, almost everything on there is, yeah. frankly, brutal. Probably the Luso. The Luso is the guaranteed continued value. If he has Orin, Orin can block this board. Like, yeah, he held it, but Orin just blocks the heat and he just steps in front of it. Yeah. Um, and he'll get the card draw. Yeah. But he has to have. I feel like if he had that play, he would have just slapped it down already. Yes, this is best of three, two decks. Uh, untimed. The good news is if he can somehow deal with this, if he can just push past it, then there's a very, very good chance that Brennan can just take this over because he can stabilize all of his backups. Guardians has a lot it can do by canceling stuff with the jack block, but he's not. Guardians can go wide. Yeah, Guardians can go wide pretty fast. That's that's a really good uh, thing. It's just I think he needs to be able. He has to do the, this line perfectly in order to get that effect. And I think that's the turn is key. So interesting. So he absolutely Peters. No, no, I'm doing it. <laughs> he said, "Just kidding. That's just I'm just showing you what I could do." I've seen that so many times as a play, and I'm like, okay. He's like, tap one, pitch two, pitch two, two CP. Here's Titus, is what I would do in a different reality, actually. And if he's not going to discard that uh, Leviathan, he's just revealed the Leviathan. Yeah. Here, do you want to see two cards? Just kidding. Right. 
Yeah, like, casting the Leviathan, like, it, it could potentially keep him alive. Well, no, he can't even cast it because of the, the Lieutenant, not the Lieutenant, uh, General Leo. Oh, General Leo, yeah. That's why I assumed he discarded it, because it's useless. Yeah, that General Leo can do work. Oh, yeah. And if I remember correctly... No, no, it's not General Leo, that's the Monk. General Leo is another job type. He's a... But you'd think he'd be General, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was, like, Warrior or something. Well, we can make him a General now. Right? I still have the argument of, can you turn something into waifu? <laughs> it depends on if you have to pick a known job or just any job. Yeah, so I... we will go to Titus. I'm curious if they've answered that yet or not. You, you only get locked here if you get enough counters to Oroch's spirit. If you only have enough counters for that, you need to get one. But because he also didn't play the walkout first, it makes me think. Uh, I that last time. No, I want two two. No, I want two two. That's wild. Oh, you can actually hear. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, that wasn't Rob, though. So there's two hits at AP1 again. Alright, well, you save one. Okay, he searches out the Yuna. Hopefully, he's got the Orin or something. Unless I Jekt wouldn't do anything for him here. A Minwoo would be really nice here on the back. Oh, I have a feeling that's not in his deck. It's just a difficult spot for him. I don't think he... Like, maybe on three backups, it would have been a bit more easier. Uh, I'm... Like, he had the Lulu to get something back to cast something else if he wanted to get the extra trigger on the uh, Waka, but if he can't get there... He's got the Orin. There's clearly no Waka. Yeah. And he is passing. on the M3, so Yuna is buffing the Titus and the Orin. They're both main characters. Yeah, so... But, but they do have, we do have... Oh, oh no. He's like, oh, no, no, that's bad. Yeah, he already had it in hand, so... Hold on, can we have his own Luso first? first? I think they're at the point they're skipping stuff because they're assuming it's over. Uh, if it's not over, I might have to go. Yeah, okay. Maybe they spoke too soon. Oh, but uh, I think. Yeah, I think Cyan might just finish. I mean, he's only got two samurai currently, though, so that's 6k. That's not if he parties. Oh, not yeah. Parties. Parties. Then it'll be yeah. enough. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just... And then Hien can come in again and do it again unless he kills the Cyan. Yeah. I think they just established that it was over. That's why they skipped the Luso. But that means... Three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. That's but... Very unfortunate. Brendan didn't even get a chance. Ryan just... <laughs> he just came in, kicked down the door and said, Boom! Right down your throat! Well, the good news is now Ryan cannot play Samurais. So he's got to win off Samurais, he has to play his second deck, where Brendan can choose to play whatever he wants. Uh, these are both players from the same local area, so I think Brendan will know what Ryan is playing, so Brendan will have a bit of an advantage going in this round two, going which deck does best against his second deck. Uh, the second deck is uh, Miracle Wind. Yep, Miracle Wind. That doesn't make and me feel any looks... better if that's what I'm facing next. I mean, yeah, it's not going to kick you in the face in three, three turns. It'll just destroy you over ten. Yeah, but at least, you know, you know how to prepare for it this time. Yeah. Whereas that game one, they were both like, which one is the, are they playing unless they memorized each other's sleeves? Uh, and yes, he's correct. Uh, this should be the quarterfinals, not the semifinals. I knew I screwed that up. So... Man, I, I want to see Guardians do well, but it's, uh, this is going to be a tough matchup. He's got to be able to get set up, which he should this time. The wind shouldn't be knocking down your door that early. Hopefully, knock on wood.
fixed. So, spending so much time teaching math, I always think quarter four. So I always screw those two rounds up. Oh, oh. It gets me every time, and I, I know it does, but I just can't do much about that. <laughs> All right, Brennan is going to try to go first again. He switched. He said, all right, fine. You want to play aggression? We'll play aggression. Uh, I can't remember how many total we had off the top of my head. Uh, 32? 32. 32. I know we had perfect numbers for the pods for cube. Uh, so just back up Samurai, getting rid of Lachesis. Also, yeah, it looks like Brandon did switch. So this is Spire Ice Crystals. Yeah, he does. He wants to punch him back with just as much aggression. Chocobo Sam to get out fatty. We're ready to curve into that. And the Chocolate. I'll be fixing to get myself a Chocobo. You say this was Fire Ice Crystals? Yes. Okay, so then, then what I want oh, to say... Fire water, sorry, fire, fire, fire water. I apologize, oh. fire water. Uh, it's already been... It's, it's already starting. I was going to say, I want to see the last one here immediately then. Plays the chocolate. He's a Destiny source, so he does see this. He does see face. Why does Chocobo Sam not pop up on the search? By the time I get it, we're going to be on the next card, aren't we? It's okay. When he enters, he can search for a card or job. And, he he at the hand. and then he can and, uh, by picking yeah. up and for himself. A thousand if it's a normal forward, three thousand if it's a chocobo. Hey! There's a glacial on top. We can leave it there with the Ceramobius. No, he's gonna strike. No! Huh. Maybe he's gonna get that in hand. Pitches a Yuna, another Oracle, third crystal. Yep, oh, that's why, because he was going to play the reveal again. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna yeah, make sense. The win. So I almost would have put that to the bottom as well. Because I, I don't think he's gonna play a haster to to hit that into damage. But maybe Brennan's like, well, that's the case. So we got Ceramobius out on the field. Let's get that one up instead, instead of Sam. Yeah. He's a really good art. Uh, Oh, he's gonna Zidane first. He says, eh, let me see what's in the end. I don't trust it. And I'm, a, I'm a Tarasu and a Mark. Ooh. I mean, the instinct is always you want to pull the Amaterasu, but he can, yeah, so he can play the Mark. You're starting to distort really bad uh, there, Travis. Oh, was I? Am I any better now? It's fine, it's just coming and going because that last two sentences were really bad. Oops. Well. It's all right. Like I'm sitting here with all this background noise. Yeah. <laughs> Watch him drop a Sid Randell. <laughs> I know some. One of the decks is splashing ice in it. Sid Randell wouldn't be terrible. No, I, I would break the card. It's destroyed by Bismarck. Other than that, it stops most of what Wind wants us to do. Drop a yeah. Drop a Sid against the new 15 boys deck. Then it couldn't do anything. No, Sid, I rate Sid. I rate Sid. The problem isn't Sid. The problem is Ice is not able to do as much as the others. But I'm hoping 18 fixes that because we've seen some really cool stuff there. We'll see. I think Sid could have used more uh, a bigger health pool. Like 6,000 is just a little too weak. Uh, oh, speaking yeah. of Bismarck. Nope, there's Typhon. Says, yeah, you're protecting Tucking the Sarah. Oh, we're going to Amatrasa. Oh, Ami. Nice. And it was active. Three, yep. uh, four win backups. So he'll lose that as well. Lose the Larkishis. I don't think we're too sad to see that go. It's not really a backup. Uh, it might against Wind. Locking out, because uh, Wind bounces to hand. Locking it out of the game completely could have been very uh, useful, I think. Potentially, on like a Bismarck. Yeah, or even a Luso, or even the Zidane. Because if he starts bouncing that Zidane every turn... Oh, you stole a gun, yeah. Noctis. Noctis. I don't know how I feel playing I, I like that without... I don't know how I feel playing that in this situation like that. 
I think he thinks he's got to be struggling for backups because there's no way against a wind deck he's thinking, oh, yeah, I just want the backup. Oh, and we see the yeah. thing in Ryan's hand, too. That card is trouble. I think someone uh, well, might have jinxed Brendan the at the start of this. <laughs> Each other's a Dane. Here comes Big Bad Bismarck. We're probably just gonna bounce forward the Dane back to our hand. Yep. Threaten to. Uh, hey. Uh, <laughs> we gotta get rid of that whale. <laughs> we gotta get rid of it now. Leishella could deal it, do it if she came down right now. Well, of course, Ryan has a chocobo in hand, so he can just bounce it. But Glacella can stack on top of that too. It's going to be expensive, but we could do it. So I had an idea I wanted to do, and I'll let chat decide if I'm a smart person or a dumb person. So I wanted to do a Bismarck and a Glassy Labolos deck and just call it Pain Train versus the Boat. Yeah. Nice. I would make that a dual deck to be available if I could. It is horizontally. I don't know if it's meant to be horizontally. Adamos at 1CP? Uh, possibly with all those crystals, but I don't know... Ramada will bounce it a little bit. Did you just give them another card draw? No, he says, eh, no, I'm not going to let you bounce that. Uh, no, no. Yeah. I, I, man, if I was the Bismarck player, I don't know. I almost am kind of okay if he bounces that. You, you draw off of it anyway? Yeah, but he's take, he'll be taking a bunch of damage. But now the Bismarck's going to take either Dolan Freeze or 8k. Yeah. Dolan Freeze, it looks like. He just don't freezes it. Yeah, just wants to get the damage in. Oh! That's a good hit. One less to deal with. Uh, nice. Oh, we're going to Ramada, Ramada Special. Ramada Special. That's good as well. Okay, so that's why he Dolan froze it. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Into Tomos. Great, great hits. Okay, that was a good turn for Brendan. No, that was very good. That's very good. This might actually be what he needed. Yeah, that burst of uh, burst of speed there. Yeah, that, that explains why he was doing so much to get rid of the Bismarck. He wasn't trying to get rid of it. He just wanted an open field. Now we can and play either the Dane here. So Ryan, I don't think. Hmm. Ryan has to play the Zidane because he wants. To, he should be worried about another Ramada in hand. Yeah. I think. He's drawing a card off. Yeah, he drew a card off the Chocobo, the uh, Chocolita. Best yeah, he, Chocobo. He, he cashed it in for a draw. Yeah. Gonna pay three for Lulu, I'm guessing. Yep. Yep. Get a card back, which will be a soon, I'm guessing. Yep. Sura. And now it starts. That would have been a perfect Ami. That would have just... I think that would have been a good Ami spot to just put a stopper in uh, Ryan's momentum. Yeah. yeah. Although he has a Chocobo in hand, so... Yeah, but losing a card, losing the Lulu, would have been... And a card he well, might have depended on. If he Chocoboed it in response, he could have just pounced it back to hand, drawn off the Chocobo, and drawn off the business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just gone again. Yeah, Suros, this is cast number two. Yep. Yeah. Tap everything. Oh, nice. He's got a nice dice on the to keep his cast count up. Uh, what do you guys call it? Uh, we call it Storm here for how many times you've played something. Yeah, I've heard other people say that too. Storm, cast counter, cats, whatever you want to Okay. Well, Storm comes from MTG, so I'd, I would have liked us to have an actual FF one uh, name for it. Yeah. He's up to three now. He doesn't have Rosa or any of the, like, payoff cards in his hand. I don't think he has Loose so either, unless he's trying to get him no. he's in the break zone. He drew the Althea, so he can reactivate the Bismarck if he wants to. But I don't think even then that's going to be... Like, it's a wall, but he's on... Oh, no, he's on, he's on five. I thought he was on six. Yeah, he might be able yeah, to give himself a turn. He just needs to get enough bodies out, because a Noctis can really only do one thing. Uh, not with multiple parties. Dane, he says, whatever that is, it's a Moro. That's not a bad yeah. one to get. Moro would have come in hasty swinging out of the nice nice, actually. Yeah. But like I said, he had to do this today. He had to see what was coming. He's up to four casts, but yeah, he doesn't have anything left in hand. Then. See, he does have a Fina in hand still, though, too, so he can... 
he can just stop the Noctis trigger when it happens. Get back Asura again. He's up to five. He can spend the Asura to reactivate, but there's just just really no. I think if if I'm Ryan here, I just pass. I'm gonna cancel the Noctis. Yeah, he's gonna pass. Yeah, he looks like he's just gonna pass. Yeah. And I don't think he's gonna use the Bismarck. Yeah, I think the check there was is it a May trigger or a must? It is a May. Yep. Uh, it's 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 not a may, but it's an up to actually. I should specify yeah. properly. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's optional. Yeah, it's up to. You can do this if you wish. Amber and Brendan find a way to break through this by top. Oh, he drew another Moro. Nice. Although yeah. he's not gonna get the. Oh man, he's not gonna get the the card draw because he doesn't have a card to discard. I don't think he wants to. He wants to do the triple party with Noctis to get as much efficiency in as he can. Or he yeah, wants it makes to... sense, but he doesn't know he's got the Fina in hand. Yeah. And he could have also just played the Onion Knight. He would have discarded two, which is nothing, because his hand would have been empty, and then he would have just drawn two cards. Yep, Fina just says cancel yep, that. Fina just says nope. Or, but that's still a big party to have to try and block. I mean, he just chumped the Zidane or the Lulu. Yeah. He can now leave, he survived the lethal and that's all he cares about out. Yeah. I you 100% attack with Ramada here though. Like I yeah, put the pressure on the Dane or put him to six. There's just there's just no reason to leave it up. Like especially when you can especially we can double party next turn because uh, Noctis triggers on any party not just himself. Wait, did he? So putting the pressure. Oh. What happened there? I was putting up a card. Well, he he blocked with the Zidane. So, like, what happened to the Lulu? Didn't he cancel the Noctis with the... He canceled Noctis with the Fina. So what and then he blocked. The, yeah, I thought the Lulu blocked, but then he blocked again with Zidane. I'm kind of confused. Yeah, he, blo he blocked... I think he blocked... Oh. Well, maybe he didn't because he took the damage. Well, so what happened was he declared the triple party attack. He, he used the Fina effect. Then... Lulu disappeared. I had assumed he blocked with Lulu. Maybe there was a change of mind situation or something. Yeah, but then he blocked with the Dane, and then Ramada hit him for six. I'm, I'm not sure what happened yeah, to Lulu. I, I think he either blocked with the wrong card, declared the wrong card, and they just allowed it to be fixed. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what happened there. No, like, they've, they've been playing for four, four rounds up until now, plus six yesterday. You know, you get you get that fatigue coming in at this level. Here comes Typhon. He does opt to pitch a card. Probably wants to leave the Trocobo Sam up just in case. Gets rid of Noctis because he doesn't want to deal with that, which is fair. That is the second cast, so Tomos will give it back two backups if he remembers it. It is an up two though, so he can technically skip that. Yeah. He can party with the Ceremobius and. And I think that's his whole hand. Yeah. I think what he's hoping for was for uh, Glaciella there. So here's what I would do if I'm Brendan. I would honestly send the Ceremobius in by herself. Use the, and then if he blocks, like let's say with the Bismarck, whatever he blocks with, he can pump the Bismarck by one with the Chocobo Sam. I would just spend all three crystals, make Ceremobius trade with the Bismarck. He doesn't want that to happen. He then loses the Bismarck. Yeah, you shouldn't do it, but like I said, if, if any of the players are making these sort of mistakes at this point, we can't really blame them. It's a long a long weekend, you get tired, you make these small mistakes, you miss stuff. We had a few yesterday that we saw that players just kick themselves probably for the rest of the tournament for doing, but it's not anyone's fault, it's just fatigue hits. Brendan can also, he can really, really push here. The downside will be if it doesn't work out, he's really limiting his resources. But if he's trying to just close it out, knowing he has to block, he can't kill yeah. him this turn, but you could potentially, if you can get rid of that Bismarck, that is what you want. So I would switch swing with the Ceremobius. You can threaten the Crystal Pump. But I would just block with the Typhon. See, if I was yeah. Ryan, it's just Typhon is expendable at this point. Yeah, but it's, st it's still, it means it's a Typhon he's not replaying on you next turn. Like, or it is a Typhon he's replaying on you next turn, depending how much he has left in the deck. That's the difficult part of it. So, oh, he played a backup with another crystal, so he now can go over. Oh, and he should reveal for the Ceremobius. 
it's, it's a backup he can add it to his head. <laughs> yeah, he's either getting tired or he's like he's rushing past all these effects. Okay. Yeah, both of them are. So here's, yep, you use the crystals. Okay, but you can even use that fourth crystal to make Ceremobius live. Yep. Yep. Can no, no, it'll be, it'll be 11 versus 11, wouldn't it? Uh, no, so Bismarck will go up to a 10 from the Chocobo Sam buff. And then oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 versus... T yeah, yeah. 11, yep, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I was like, so, I was... I didn't want to go on that side for the next turn. Yeah, like, I've, I've watched so many top cut just as a judge, and you're just watching, you just go... It, it's just... You're tired. <laughs> He can't attack with the Ramada, though. Yeah, the Typhon is too much of a... Too big, yeah. Ooh, and a bit of a dead draw. He drew two, two backups. I mean, he can play Althea, which he absolutely should. You could even swing with Typhon. Uh, Choc... Yeah. I would... Zero counters... Yeah, zero counters Chocolita. If he had one counter on Chocolita. So, yeah, if he hadn't forgotten to untap Chocolita last turn, he could have tapped at the end of turn, tapped her Althea, drew a card. That was weird. Why did he... Oh, he forgot. He was going... To... He forgot the Adamos trigger. Yeah. Like I said, it, it, players are tired, players are exhausted. It's yeah, happening on both sides. He, he just revealed the Ceremobius effect on my turn. Like, it's too late at that point. Unless it's a mandatory trigger, I guess. Sure with it. Uh, if you pass enough phases that information has changed, it is up to the opponent to, to allow a rewind. The opponent can go, must trigger, I've already drawn my card scene, I'm gonna say no. I mean, he did show so a squall on top there, and I don't think Ryan so really I think let draw that squall. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, your opponent can let you do it, but that's usually how it works. But these two, like I said, are friends. They're probably going to be a bit easier on each other. Nor my drink being opened. I think you attack with Typhon here, then main two, use the Althea, stand it back up. You got your fifth backup, you didn't lose anything. Potentially you can get that squall off if Brendan Brent lets it hit. Although he'll probably chump block with the Ramada. He's just gonna play the Althea first. Yep. Yep, targeting. Yeah, he's gonna do it for the Chocolate. So he'll counter, reactivate, probably do counter again. I think he needed to attack there he needs the to Titan. attack with the yeah uh, no no he's gonna have to attack with Automus to untap everything and hopefully draw a card off the chocolate yeah I yeah, think yeah. You, you I think you still block this with Ramada because you want to draw that squall no he's gonna oh. let the squall go to damage oh man there must be something good in hand then yeah there's gotta be something good in hand then to allow that I think that Squall just ends the game. He just drew a Chocom Chocomog summon. That's pretty nice, actually. That's going to let him stay alive this turn. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and that wouldn't have been enough to get Squall either. Yeah, so, and no, yeah that's interesting. Hopefully Brendan's got another one in hand, because that card absolutely would have just ended this game right now. Yep, he's going to kill. Everyone today has been, what does that do? It's like, it's Wait, Chocomog. He doesn't have a Moogle, so he won't draw off of it, but he does get rid of the uh, Ramada. Alright. Oh, he has Yeah. Oh. I, I would normally kill the Sarah, but when you're at that high damage and the Ramada special, you just have to kill the Ramada, unfortunately. Well, and you, you, the Ramada, you don't want him to play another... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. But he does have... Well, this is... Well, this is the one chance he could kill Sarah, yeah, because it doesn't he doesn't have a crystal. So that's why I would have jumped on that opportunity if it wasn't this situation. I mean, this but is the situation just, obviously calls for Ramada to go. You just drop Squall, attack, win the game. He has to block. Typhon will die on the, even if Typhon bumps, it's still going to trade with the Squall, and then Sarah just goes into the victory. Yeah, like there's not much you can do uh, that Ryan could do here. Especially when he was forced to attack with the uh, with the Atomos to yeah. get the untapped to draw. Blocker. Brendan, go for it! Come on, man! <laughs> I, I, like he doesn't know. He's trying to plan. Oh my God! What could he possibly have to stop it? Yeah, like that's the thing. This is the, these are intense games. These are very difficult and very stressful on the players. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure the only thing Ryan has in hand is maybe a choker. Here comes the squall. All right. All right. This will be game. Here comes squall. Automatic 4K to the board. He has to block with a t with Typhon, which will trigger another 4K. Yeah, but you, you you're losing something to block something, so it's a damage for a damage. So yeah, so right. that's it. Whoo. All right, so now it looks like it's Mono Wind versus. So he just won with the, the crystal. Guardian. So you get Guardian. Yep. So Guardians versus uh, Miracle Wind. Stop the recording again. Okay, I think we're back. Okay, yeah, you guys did not miss anything. Do not worry about that. <laughs> Everything is fine. Uh, did you lose the full screen? I lost the one, yeah, the stream you were giving. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll do it now, quickly, while they're shuffling. I think it's this one. Yeah, I found out what was happening with the with Discord. I could have shared it last time, but it displays it differently when it's on the preview screen. So it looked like it wasn't sharing it. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Travis. Uh, is that my end or your end? I don't know. The stream you're doing currently is reduced. Yeah, it looks very, very choppy. Uh, you're, it's looking choppy? Uh, you're also coming in really... Maybe it's my end? I think it's your end. Really yeah, yeah, it's your end. Screen. It's your end. Something's happening with the connection on your end. Okay, it's better now. At least it is on my end. Yeah, but you're still coming in very distorted. We lost names? I'm seeing names on screen. No, no, names are fine. Okay, names are back. Uh, how is, I do not know. I cannot check from here. I am isolated from the playroom, so I can yell and not have uh, players disturbed. I've got some lovely Warhammer players right next to me. Uh, Dave won game one against Vanessa. Vanessa stayed on deck eight for game two. Okay, well, there's your there, there you are. Update on... Uh, so Vanessa is uh, Brendan's partner. That's why when Bra uh, Brandonis was asking uh, Brennan, I'm like, well, there's technically two in the game. Uh, Good opening for Ryan. Choke of a nice and slow. Show, like we want to do. Uh, and I, I think you might need to. I think you might need to do something, uh, Travis. I'm sorry, you are coming in absolutely gargled. Is that just me, or is everyone else hearing that as well? Uh, chat, please let us know if that's just me or not. Not seeing anything on my end, but uh, yeah, please let me know if it's. I get. I guess that Brandonis. Yeah, he's very. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're bad. And it, if you're saying you're getting a slow delay and everyone else is getting. Uh, well, now getting I can, can see it just. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let me exit the lobby. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's try me. that. Yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, Funi, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, thank you for the feedback. Is the stream looking fine to everyone in terms of the speed and the game and all that? That's also kind of important so we know which end it's coming in. Oh, Ryan's already on to three backups. Wait, is this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wind versus wind water. I could got confused. I thought it was wind versus wind again. It's good? All right, all right. So at least, at least you guys at least can see it. That's the key thing. Uh, that damn Aussie is one of our judges on the on the ground, our man in the sky. He'll be putting up reports, hopefully, of the other matches for us. But yeah, it looks like a difficult start for Brendan. Pull you back when you're ready, sure thing. Let's do a bit of a test. Does this sound any better? Do I still sound super choppy? Yeah, you sound... Yeah. 
And I just checked with chat there saying the stream is looking fine, so I think that's your end. Uh, what is going on? Uh, I'll see. It could just be. Oh, oh, oh. I need you to. Oh, no. I don't know how to test this. We can't mute you without testing it. It's not obscuring because you're sitting in the Oh, no. I don't know how to fix this. I'm powerless, people. Um, but yeah, Brendan, Brendan just went to four forwards with Waka on two counters. That's uh, that's a scary lineup to stare down. Ryan literally needs to Luso right now, and I don't think he can in that position. Is this any better? better? Yes, much better. Thank you very much. Okay. Hopefully that sticks. Hold on, guys. All right, going to play the Typhon on the Orin, but I'll have to pay extra for the Cecil. Did he pay the extra? I guess he paid the Cecil tax. So I didn't see it, but. Sorry, had to do some. Uh, had some people come up needing to ask me stuff. Uh, everyone, please tell me how uh, Travis is sounding now. Yeah, there's any sound issues. While well, Waka sends this, uh, okay, you asked for a brother. <laughs> Just to send Type into the chef room. Oh, but we're gonna choke a bow it. Draw a card. So we can use it again, but time to put ourselves on up to three damage. There goes a Rosa. There goes a Zidane. There goes a Lulu. <laughs> All cards you're happy to see. Now we play our own Norse Stalin. Search out possibly an Althea. Althea should be Althea. Absolutely. Yatomo says online, so we are going to get to kind of do whatever we want this turn. Yeah, but I almost he, I think... wonder if maybe he should have hit him twice and then stop. Like, I know you want to rush him down, but you don't really want to give him that free swing and react. I think, I think Brendan is scared of the Luso crackback. He's trying to get in as much damage with whatever wide board he can keep. Cause yeah, which Ryan's, does make sense. Yeah. Because Ryan's in prime position right now. He couldn't Luso the last turn. I don't think he had enough resources. But now with three backups and the Atomos out, he's in prime position to do it. If he has the cards, so I think I think at some point Brandon's like I either lose my field, so I might as well swing in, or I don't lose my field and I might as well swing in. Oh, to Pavlo to untap good, two. Although there's actually, well, no, oh. there's nothing to untap. He Ooh. Have any Crystal Chronicles. He's just got a bunch of Chocobos. I guess it's a backup. Up. Uh, you're a backup up. Yeah. Well, and the Atomos can oh. it when he's. Oh no no! I know why he's done it. He's got the. Uh, He's got uh, Typhon in hand, so now Typhon is online. Or oh, is Typhon three? Is Typhon three or four? Yeah, Typhon three. Typhon was already. Ah, online. okay. Typhon was online. All right. I was wondering if he did it just for the Typhon, or if he's doing it for the Atomos. Then yeah, because he just taps Choco Choco Leader now to get the counter in response to the Atomos, untaps everything, and then goes nuts. And Brendan would absolutely love a Leviathan here. <laughs> Send the Atomo this pack and really screw up his line. Yeah. Gets his own chocolate. Yep. Atomo is like, I too will get a chocolate. Here we go. Get them all back. Well, it's oh. Valifor. He will. Uh, it's really not going to do it. gives him one more chocolate tap. That's not yeah, I was gonna, yeah, I was about to say, he doesn't do anything but except gets chocolate ready, which is really good. Chocolate, like, oh. good chocolate. <laughs> Why is it, because, is, is it because she looks delicious? Is that the commons? It is the commons. I like that very cool skeleton started us off the first uh, message of, on my channel with a really cool comment. Yes, I am that kind of streamer. I apologize for nothing. He does have a Luso in hand, but I don't see Rosa. I don't see anything else that can kind of just let him chain off on it. I think it's uh, Bounce, Chocobo, Luso, and Typhon. Yeah. So he yes. can try to see if he draws something deeper off the Typhon, but... 
Oh, uh, look, I, I don't play the games, I mispronounce yeah. everything. Uh, and that's half the fun. So, he's already used his robes and stuff. That's why I have uh, yeah. Travis here. He's used up all his... What's it? Oh, ah, so close. Just did. Hey, he had combat support, so... So that was our second cast. We can replay the account unless we're going to draw first. Another Typhon. <laughs> oh no. So, our third cast, Luso, draw again. Man, if he can get to seven off of this, wind is b -b busted. I mean, another Typhon. Well, he has every Typhon he could possibly want. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be the worst thing in this position. You go Typhon, tuck something, block, block, let it die, play the other one. But then all you're doing is just stemming the tide. You're not really uh, getting yourself ahead. And he has to pay the two for the... Oh, and he got rid of the Luso. That's risky if he can't get that... Not terrible, but... Yeah. And there, and he, see, there's no Atomos now, though. Did he too. bounce? He, he, did he bounce Atomos? So, yeah, he so used the uh, the Chocobo to bounce it back. But now, uh, because okay. it's not on the field, he can't swing with it and get all his cores back next turn. Yeah, I, th I think oh, it's just a bad spot. Yeah, this is just a bad spot, I think. Now, he does have a defender, at least. He's got a big 8k, which is bigger than anything on Brendan's board. So he's going to go ahead and draw a card off of the Chocolate. Well, Brandonis, you know two very good people who are fantastic players who can teach you, and we are hopefully I'm going to be setting up some learn to play streams on my channel here. Uh, Alex, Alex is in top. No, I think Alex was out. Uh, he made it. Yeah, Alex he didn't a, make it. He had a really bad showing in cube, and that kind of sunk his hopes. Oh, he was coming back pretty well, but then he just had some struggles. He was he was like four and two in the non cube rounds, but the cube really hurt him. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll reiterate the top eight so everyone, just to let everyone know who just joined. First place, Paul. Second, Brendan. Third, Chris Matiski. Fourth, Vanessa. Fifth, Dave. Sixth, Richie Alvarez. Seventh, Ryan. Eighth, Kyle. I like the Althea. I don't know if I like the not pitching the Orin. He has, he's on pure wind backup right now. He has no water. Yeah. No ice for that pitcher block. And this is what she got him in the uh, Swiss. When he was in this position, but he ran out of water, so that might actually—he's he, probably reliving what happened on stream before. Oh, this might actually get into his head. I was definitely happy to see that. Like, no additional pressure was applied. He can now take a turn, get his Atomos back out there. Yeah, we just got information that Vanessa's going to game three, and Brendan and Ryan are uh, in game three at the moment. So yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Brendan has the upper hand, but he's also starting to to glitch a little bit. Put out a Tomos. I'm resuming turn one. Yep, cast one. We can cast that Chocomod. Just get rid of. Probably want to get rid of Waka. Althea. Althea. Targeting, targeting to untap, untap. Probably getting two counters on the. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, this Ryan's had to do this desperate play a few times. It's not the best spot to be in Miracle Wind, where you're just hoping off a Chocolita like that. But the longer he's given, surely the deeper he's gonna get there. Ooh, yeah. this is a Dane. He, he'd have to pitch the Chocobo mod to run it out. I don't think he'd do that. I think he was So, patient. good news for for that they are both on the other end of the uh of the tournament ladder they can verse in the final oh he does yeah they are on opposite sides of the bracket Ooh, cecil that's pretty good i i know that damn aussie's only watching the chat and not listening because he's saying everything we are i love it but he's also a fantastic judge so i assume he's on point with everything as well deal wow he's still back and back cecil that's pretty ridiculous. I cast Cecil uh, to play Cecil. I don't know. I 100% chump block here. I'm just saying, nope, Zidane's gone. I think you absolutely just get rid of that card. Probably, I mean, it kind of depends. But you probably want to get the Yuna? No, he's going to take the hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think he feels the pressure. I don't think you want to keep that Zidane around, especially knowing he can just see till next turn. Like, I, I don't know. I kind of think he's also hoping to get to damage three, because a bunch of uh, the Guardian stuff gets triggered off damage three, so... He does, but I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting to the Zidane, but that card could just be such a... Yeah. He just ripped two of his best cards from his deck. Yeah, now Brendan is... Uh, it's flipped right back. He's in the precarious. Uh, it's not every... Like, I think we got three out of the five, unless I'm mixing someone up. Yeah, I think we're three out of five, uh, out of eight, sorry. But yeah, no, the, the Ballarat players uh, came in strong. Right, I'm gonna flux flux, which is... Can do attack with Yuna? Probably trying to bait out a block so we can have the back. Yeah. It's an Althea. Oh, okay. Oh, he's it. gonna choke a boat back. Yeah, and Ryan has no hand, so he's completely out of. It. So now, so hoping to get, use... yeah, hoping to get Waka. Yeah. Charge you up can Waka. You and you've got Petus. You, you're, you're, you're set. You're feeling good. Yeah. I mean, you gotta go for it. You have to go. And it, it helps him avoid the water block. Just the bird. Oh, nope, not quite. Oh, Matis Matiski's up a game. Matiski and Richie are starting round two with Matiski winning the first one. Thought you'd want to know that. Nice. Yep, there we go. So that's two counters for Waka. Activate with Ar no online. Yep. Activate we'll with Atomos. Yep. We still have the Althea online if we want to use it. I don't think oh, he man. does. He just here would be so good. I don't think he wants to use it. Is there any other Guardian you could get from your bin besides those two? That are on the field already? Not with Yuna, no. Yeah, so I don't think he does want to use the Althea. So we drew another Atomos and a Stiltskin. Pretty useless card, but we can just use it on Cecil to give our own board a bunch of protection. The Cecil can't actually play anything unless we Althea back something to hand. I don't think you would need to do that, but... Uh, well, Cecil, Cecil says character, right? Correct. So, bounce the Typhon, replay Cecil to play the Typhon and Tuck? Maybe? You could, even just, you could just Althea back Typhon or whoever you want to Althea, play the Cecil and just replay the Althea for free. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, that can work as well. If you wanted to, you don't have to. Well, you could do it either way. That's that's something that a lot of people forget about Cecil. It's, uh, it's character. I'm trying to see if I got Cecil ready to put up on screen. Could also just attack. He's got the bigger bodies at least for one point of damage. But the moment he hits him with three, Warren and Walker are going to start working out. Yeah. And that's why I think uh, Brendan took that damage. He's, he wasn't afraid of the, the hits. So he just treated his life as a resource and goes, I'd rather keep my dudes. Yeah. Oh, look, you're allowed to cheat for whoever you want. Like, for me, I know everyone on this list, they are all close friends of mine. I am just sitting here going, I don't know who to cheer for. And today was very surreal for me because everyone in the room is people I see in top cuts or I meet in top top eight. And seeing them all in the one room and I'm like, all of you can't be there. It's it's a very difficult thing when it's all uh, a tight knit community, but you're allowed to have your favorites. And we have a lot of we have a very strong New South Wales versus Victorian rivalry here that Travis has learned the hard way about. You're doing age. Unless he's really afraid of putting Brendan to three, you could absolutely... Okay, yeah, he's going to scoop up the Chocobo Tam with the Althea. He's going to replay... I mean, I think you 100% play a Cecil here. And then just replay Althea for free. No, he's just going to do it naturally. Oh, it's Plus beginning. I said it. It's beginning. Okay. Yeah, but New South Wales has one problem. It has Lord Frost Jr. on its team. Interesting. Okay. So he's going to get two back off of this. He's, I guess he's going to go search out another Chocobo summon. I was reminding him to put his counter on it. That you stole off me, Lord Frost Jr. Yeah. Like everyone lo looks at me funny when I grab Chocobo Summon with the Zana. I'm like, why do you do that? I'm like, because it's part of the engine. Yeah. People underestimate that when they first see Miracle Wind. 
Yeah. I was actually very proud of myself that I was able to pilot it successfully without going to time in any games. I'm still not the best with it. Like, the, you know, there's good and then there's Matiski good. <laughs> He's got some options here. I mean, there's still a bunch of weenies on Brendan's side, so he could probably get a free attack here. With it's, the but it's only a weenie with one swing, then they get pumped. Yeah, but he's gonna have to do that eventually, anyway. So I don't know. Again, unless he's really scared of that, if he's really scared of that, he should just pass and not attack. But that is actually he's a, not. That is a good point by uh, by our judge. That damn Aussie. We did not see a retainer deck today. Oh, there was a fair number of them during Swiss. Okay, so we just didn't see them in top. Well, that's still pretty bad. We didn't see them in any of the top cut events. Looks like they couldn't cut it. Yep, they didn't retain so, yep, enough victories. Activating everything. Uh, I don't know about Avalanche, and I definitely don't think Vikings were here. I think there might have been like a Viking in a couple of decks as a card draw piece for something like Mog, draw seven, six cards, break something. But I don't think there was a pure Viking deck. Uh, I will ask about Avalanche later. Yeah, sorry? I was going to say, unless you have Yuna in hand, yeah, you just take this to Demons 3. Everybody's monstrous now. Yeah. Give credit to Ryan. He has pulled it back from a behind. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's set up now. Yeah. He just needs the cards in his hand. See, and here we go. He's going to choke up with a Luso. Third cat. I use the rope to climb. I will then. Tissue for six, with sun, and... So, goes to four, goes to four. He does get an He has his a day, but it's the other's a day. He can't use it. Wind is about to do wind things. It's about to miracle. That's what it's about to do. It smells like it. I'm still rooting for Guardians. So, yeah, gonna... <laughs> a lot of people are. Yeah, Guardians has become sort of the, the pseudo... Uh, uh, underdog, because everyone underestimates them until they win. Chris, Chris has won. Looks like Chris Metiski has won and moved into the uh, semis, beating Richie Alvarez 2-0. to him. Yep. We got next year for Richie's for World First Class Soldier. Don't Brendan's worry. Just sitting there like, hey, do I get to take a turn at any point? While you're sitting there playing solitaire for hundred years. I believe so because they're on the opposite end. I will double check that for you, chat. Uh, so Chris was there. Uh, he would be versing. Oh wait, I thought they were. I thought they were on the opposite bracket. No, I think Brendan and Vanessa are in the middle brackets. Unless I'm reading this wrong, I could be reading this wrong. I assume he'll be in third place. So yes, him and Richie six. Third and six versus first and eight. Is the like, oh boy, I get to play now. <laughs> Chris plays the winner of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So first and first and four, uh, first and eighth versus four, fourth and fifth. I had that mixed up. Yeah. So the winner of this versus Chris. Alright, can so Brendan do something about this, or is Wynn just going to keep getting to do whatever the heck it wants? Yeah. Oh, look, rivalry aside, New South Wales came in very strong today. You guys are an amazing group of players. You guys did very well. But unfortunately, the ratio is against you. Um, unfortunately, the thing we have here in Australia is, I think 80% of our player base is all Melbourne, Victoria. <laughs> And the further out you go in the country, it gets like less and less.
Lantern, can you pull up uh, Chocobo Sam for the card preview? If I can find it, that's the one I've been struggling for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try just typing in Sam. I did, and he, the problem is Sam is also in Samurai. Oh, okay. <laughs> No wonder you're having, yeah, Chocobo Sam. Yeah. Oh, I found it this time. Yeah, sorry, uh, I, I'm getting a bit tired. Yes, it's been a long day, so I probably... Oh, yeah, just to everyone, I probably should be more on point on getting the cards up. I've been doing pretty well, I think, considering I'm doing it manually. Oh, okay, nice, yeah. So since Sam is a choose one forward, he actually is going to have to pick Oren while Oren's on the field. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Sam, Sam gets forced onto Oren because Oren is a legit option. It's not you control. Yeah, I've had this before as a, as a thing. He rolled four ones. The last one in that. <laughs> and he got, and he just clearly died. I must not like any of his choices, because he is not moved since Drew. Well, good thing about No Time, which is why I kind of do believe, I, I, I heavily back No Time for top cuts, is the place should not be pressured by time. They sh it should be determined by a natural winner. I mean, the Oren's a 9k. He can freely swing it. He doesn't have to worry about any retribution. I mean, most Ryan can do is block. This is an intense one. I'm glad this one was the first one. Yeah, yeah. So, for the next time, you can shoot it underneath. Yeah, and they both know this is game three, so this is for all the marbles. Yeah. Like I said, this would be very. This is very pressure for the two players. They're from the same shop. They're from the same community. They're part of the same group. So, you know, this they're knocking out their friend in a major event like this, and then going to have to probably drive home together and see each other tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, so the plane bear why? Okay, Paul. What are you, oh, you pitched the lock. Paul, our current first place is behind. Paul and Kylo on game three. Paul has six damage versus one. Ooh. This is game Barely three. I was a category 10, so he gives lock up. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's a nice little pick. Oh, yeah. That's why Barely is splashed. I just assumed it was in there for the ice wind stuff, but yeah, that's uh, nice. Oh, I, uh, my thought is the ice wind stuff is in there for Barely. I mean, he can Atomos reactivate. I don't. It does, he's only got one card in hand, so I don't know what else he can really do off of that. But uh, two count. Yeah, he can only get two counters on Chocolito, so it's not even. Oh, Titus. Oh, boy. And now oh, he, yep. has to, uh, he has to. Start, oh yeah, tap Chocolito in response. Remember? Yep. <laughs> yep. I was well, expecting so that. Is, so this is gonna kill Luso. Yep. Yeah. So he might have lethal here. Yeah. Depending on what he can, if he can draw. Oh, yeah, I was like, if he had another Waka, he could just clear the Zidane out of the way and just go in and kill him. Yeah, oh, do you guys, uh, Ryan, yeah, Ryan's A deck is Samurai. Brendan's A deck was Firewater, oh, it was this one, but his other deck that he played was Firewater Crystals. Actually, he should have Lethal here, because what he yeah. does is, you tap the Chocolate, you make a Tomosa forward, you swing, it reactivates, Barrel Eye is going to 3k to the Zidane, the Zidane dies. And then you have Atomos, Orin, Yuna, and Waka can all attack. So this sh if Brendan can see that line... Okay, he's done the first part of your line. Yep. Okay, yep, yep. Okay, come on. I'm calling it, yep. So there it goes. Bismarck. Five, six. Swing with Oron next. I would have swung with Oron. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I'll probably yeah, swung right. with Oron. He had to do yeah. the reactivation. No, he had to do, yeah, 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 yeah. Activate. Um. You can block, but it doesn't matter no. because yeah, yeah. anyway. That looks Brendan? like it's oh, Brendan's game. That was we, he, Brendan was struggling like the first game, most of the second game, but got in. That was a come from behind. Yeah, barrel eye coming in clutch there. That was great. Poor Ryan, he he was digging and searching, but he could not find the Rosa or the Bismarck or any of those cards that really just let you go to town. Yeah, so it looks like both Lee hands are in. Chris Matiski's in. We are waiting on Paul Kyle. Last update is game three with Paul on six damage, Kyle on one. So that might spell some doom for first place. This, the first place Swiss curse might hit again. And unfortunately, Paul's my, one of my locals, so I'm feeling bad there.
Yeah, congrats to Brendan. Ryan, I uh, I don't like to see wind win in ever, but I do feel for you that game because I know you were struggling to get your like. Oh, that was yeah, that was that was an uphill climb, but he did it. Yeah, I really I think he should have played the Cecil. I think that would have made a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I agree, but look, he, he got it for him. Dig to the, he was digging for the Luso and he couldn't get it. At the yeah, seven K. It's the one thing I, like, it's my only cripe about the wind, Miracle Wind. I don't like depending on the one deck. Most of the Miracle Winds I play tend to be a bit more varied and a bit more, uh... Four inches over the top. But yeah, right, Ryan just couldn't get there and Brendan just did. Yeah. See Guardians, although now I'll have to take Looks like, yeah, Ryan got, Ryan's getting, oh, that's some delicious prizes there. Zap yeah, promo, A4, Chalinka, and three or four packs. Holy cow, I gotta come to Australia. You guys give the good stuff. This will probably be the last year we give the good stuff because it looks like we're giving them all away. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the field uh, and see what's being set up. Uh, we'll keep the cam on here because it looks like we're only waiting for one game. I think they're probably gonna put the second round on immediately, but I'll go check for us.